On a cold winter night, a man encounters a small tiger cub in the Siberian forest. He wants nothing to do with it, but for some reason, he takes it home and his house cat raises him as her own. They are forced to separate when the tiger becomes too big, but months later, it does something no one expected. Dmitri was on a camping trip at the edge of a Siberian forest when he encountered something unusual. As he was sitting in his tent, sipping on his drink, he started hearing animals growling. He sat up straight, wary and fearful for his life. He was always careful to not go too deep into the woods and usually set up his tent on the outskirts where most animals would not normally venture into. Yet, he knew that he had heard correctly, and from the sound of things, it wasn't just one animal, but two. The two beasts seemed to be in a fight and growled loudly, coming closer and closer to Dimitri's tent. Regardless of how the animal surprised him, he was always ready in case he got into an altercation with a wild creature. He grabbed his gun from his backpack and unzipped his tent slowly. He walked some distance away from his tent and the approaching animals and climbed up the nearest tree to seek safety. Luckily, his dark clothes helped him blend into the night as he settled down on the tree. He had a perfect view of the situation and was stunned when he saw two large tigers fighting, biting, and clawing at each other. It would have been foolish to interrupt the two mighty beasts, so Dmitri kept quiet, knowing that any sound he made could alert the tigers of his presence. It would be too easy to become their prey, so he watched silently. The two tigers fought viciously, and the snow beneath them turned red as their blood dripped on the forest floor. Dmitri was sick to his stomach as he watched the scene. Under the bright moonlight, he could easily tell that one tiger was notably larger than the other, and it seemed to be a male. The smaller one might have been a female, but he couldn't be sure. The fight went on for a long time, and eventually the larger tiger overpowered the smaller one. It was a horrific sight, and Dmitri had to look away. He had not even the slightest idea what the fight was about, but it still wasn't easy to witness the death of an animal. The smaller tiger's body fell to the floor with a thud. From his hiding place, Dmitri watched as the winner of the fight strutted away. Suddenly, a cry rang throughout the forest, and the sound of it made both Dmitri and the tiger pause. The cry was weak, and he guessed that it belonged to a small animal. He spotted the cub at the same time the male tiger did. It was a small thing, and with its little legs, it ran towards the lifeless body of the female tiger, prodding and sniffing her. Obviously, the cub belonged to the dead tiger, and with no one to protect it, Dmitri knew that its life was at risk in the woods. But before he could finish his thought process, the male tiger leapt at the young cub and pinned it to the floor. The little tiger cried loudly, and Dmitri knew he had to act fast. If the big cat had no qualms about harming the mother of the cub, then the cub itself was free game. Maybe he was wrong for intervening, but he couldn't stand by and watch the male end both mother and child. Remembering his gun, he pointed it to the sky and pulled the trigger. The loud pop scared the tiger, but it did not let go of the cub. Dimitri fired another shot, and this time the beast lifted his head and looked straight at him. Even though he was scared, Dimitri knew he had the upper hand. He was a skilled marksman, and if the tiger needed to be put down, it wouldn't take much for him to do it. The tiger started approaching the tree he was hiding in, but Dimitri didn't let him come close. He shot at the tiger's feet, and the beast jumped and ran off into the forest. Dimitri still waited for a few moments before coming down from the tree. He looked at the cub pushing its mother and trying to wake her up, all to no avail. Dimitri pitied the little tiger. He knew what it felt like to lose a parent at such a young age and knew the confusion that the cub was probably facing. He wasn't sure of his next move, though. He couldn't in good conscience leave the cub alone when the large male was still lurking around. But he couldn't take it home, either. He had a pet, an adorable domestic long-haired cat, and he wasn't sure how she would receive the tiger cub if they met. But between taking the cub home and abandoning it in the wild, he knew the better option. With that in mind, he beckoned the young cub. The little tiger approached him hesitantly, but once it got closer, it began to rub its body all over Dmitri's foot. 
Dimitri admitted to himself that the cub was cute and smiled at it. He picked it up and took it back to his campsite. With danger lurking around, he could not stay the night as he planned. He quickly packed up his things, loaded them into his truck, and drove home. Once he got home and opened the door, his cat Liz was already there, stretching sleepily as though she had just woken up to greet him. He put the tiger cub on the floor and reached down to scratch Liz behind her ears. After receiving her owner's affection, she glanced curiously at the newcomer. Dimitri watched as his cat's eyes opened wide, as they usually did whenever she was confused. He watched the two animals interact and marveled when his cat approached the cub and began to lick him and groom him like he was her child. Dimitri had Liz sterilized, so she never had a litter of her own. To see her readily accept the cub as her own touched his heart. He left the two felines to bond and went into his room to change his clothes. When he got back to the living room, he saw that the two cats had snuggled up together and were deep in sleep. He wanted to feed the tiger cub, but let them continue cuddling. The days that followed after Dimitri rescued the tiger cub were eventful. Liz unofficially adopted the cub as hers and would feed him and groom him. It was a comforting sight, and Dimitri was glad that she could experience motherhood in such a special way. As he expected, the tiger cub proved to be a handful and would always cause trouble. At first, Dimitri found his antics cute, but after the tiger cub ruined his work laptop with his claws, he knew he couldn't continue that way. But when he tried to scold the cub, he roared at him. While it was insignificant due to the cub's size, the aggression in his stance still surprised Dimitri. He noted then that no matter how much he tried to domesticate a tiger, it would never lose its wild nature. When he went to work the following day, he made a call to an animal rescue association and let them know that he was in possession of a young, newly orphaned tiger cub. They weren't surprised, but happy to take him off Dimitri's hands. When he put his phone down, he didn't feel the relief he thought he would, but convinced himself that he had done the right thing. The following weekend, a truck drove up to his cabin, and from the logo and name of the company on the side of the vehicle, Dimitri identified them as the rescue team he contacted. They had a cage ready and a tranquilizer gun in case the cub got difficult. Dimitri was uneasy at the mention of drugging the cub, yet he let them into his home. As expected, the cub refused to be separated from the mother cat. When one of the animal rescuers picked the cub up, Liz scratched him so badly that he bled. The young tiger himself caused significant damage by biting the arm of one of the members of the rescue team. One of the men raised the tranquilizer gun to shoot a dart at the cub, but Dimitri stopped him. Not only that, he stopped the entire event. He spoke to the head of the rescue team and called the whole thing off, saying he had changed his mind and asked if the cub could stay with them a little longer before entering their care. As the leader lectured him on the dangers involved in keeping a tiger around him and his cat, he replied that he understood. He promised that he would eventually give up the cub, but at that point, the little tiger saw the cat as its mother and refused to be separated from her. The rescue team agreed to his request, but asked him not to lose contact. After the trauma of the attempted separation, the two felines cuddled together on the floor. The cub purred softly as his mother cat licked his head and comforted him. Tears filled Dimitri's eyes and he felt terrible for ever trying to separate the duo. Of course, a wild animal couldn't live in his home forever, but they had a few months at least before the cub became a real threat. Since the family was back together, Dimitri decided to make the tiger an official member by naming him Dima. If Dima and Liz were inseparable before the rescue team's visit, it was nothing compared to how close they became in the aftermath. They ate from the same bowl, slept on the same bed, and even copied each other's behaviors. Dimitri caught Dima many times trying to meow and wasn't sure the big cat understood that it didn't have the ability. Oftentimes, Dima and Liz would be seen play fighting on the couch in the living room. In the months that passed, the tiger got significantly bigger than the cat and was almost twice her size. It didn't affect their playtime, but Dimitri feared that Dima would hurt Liz at some point. His fear came true one day when they were playing and Liz started running away from Dima. 
The act must have triggered some predatory instinct in him because the next thing Dimitri knew, the tiger started chasing the cat at top speed, and when he caught her, he roughly pinned her to the ground, making her hiss and cry out in pain. Dimitri rushed and pulled the tiger off his cat. He took Liz in his arms and immediately comforted her. The very next minute, he called the animal rescue team and begged them to come get the tiger. Within three hours, the cub was gone from their house and their lives. Demo was immediately sent to a zoo to be part of another group of tigers. He spent his early days in the zoo in isolation. There were three other tigers in his enclosure, but he never interacted with them. While they played and fought with each other, he stuck to himself and roared at anyone who came near him. After the first few weeks, the other tigers got the memo and stopped trying to socialize with him. Now and then, their paths would cross, but the other tigers would quickly leave before Dima escalated the situation. Dima couldn't find it in himself to be happy. He was ashamed that he had hurt his mother who raised him and groomed him in such a manner. He didn't mean to, but his instincts got the better of him. He was sorry and had no way of showing it, so he spent his time berating himself for what he did. His caretakers tried to play with him, but he ignored them all. He wanted his mom, but since he couldn't have her, he would settle for solitude. Thankfully, time healed this terrible wound in his soul, and within a few years, he became well-adjusted and even found a partner. Years later, Dima had become the biggest tiger in the zoo. He had his own cubs and was thriving in their family-sized enclosure. People loved to watch them, and since he was used to humans since his early days, he never showed aggression towards them. One day, a crowd gathered around his enclosure at the zoo. He lazily scanned through the people as usual, but suddenly perked up when he saw two familiar faces in the crowd. He stood up and approached the glass, hardly believing his eyes. Was that his first family? After he sent Dima away, Dimitri had noticed a decline in Liz's activities. She was no longer the happy, energetic cat she was, and over the years, she became more frail and introverted. Dimitri knew he would lose her soon and wanted to do something fantastic for her before he was forced to say goodbye. He didn't know which zoo Dima had been placed in, but maybe if he saw any tiger at all, she might be happy, if only for a little while. So, he packed their things and took her on a little excursion to a zoo in the closest city. Once they got to the tiger's enclosure, Dimitri strapped Liz to his chest and fought his way to the front so that the cat could get a closer view of the tigers. Through the glass, Dimitri could see that a male and a female were in the enclosure. The female was more sociable than the male, coming up to people and touching the glass. The male remained at the other side until he turned and locked eyes with Dimitri. He crossed the distance between them and pushed his face against the glass, staring at him and Liz. The next thing Dimitri knew, Liz bounced excitedly on his chest and started to meow loudly. The male tiger touched the glass and rubbed his head against it, trying to get out to touch the cat. Dimitri was confused, but when he looked closely at the tiger, he realized that he was indeed Dima. The staff and other visitors were shocked at Dima's attitude. In all the years he had spent at the zoo, they had never seen him so excited before. It was very unusual, and they wondered what had changed. Dima and Liz were happy to see each other and rubbed their noses together through the glass. Dima wanted to do something for his mother to make her happy, so he did something so unexpected that it caused the zookeeper's mouth to drop open. Since Dima had his cubs, he didn't allow anyone to come close to them. He had to be tranquilized before the vets could come in and check on the cubs. But for Liz, he did something sweet. He went to the cubs, took the youngest one by his scruff, and ran to present him before Liz as if to say, Here, mother, this is your grandchild. It was such a touching moment, and everyone who witnessed it clapped and cheered for the mother cat and her tiger cub. That day, Dima knew he had to show his mom how much he loved her. He did the one thing that he didn't do for anyone else, showing the world how special she was. The following day, Liz passed away in Dimitri's arms. She and Dima never got to cuddle each other again, but now and then, Dimitri would visit the tiger on behalf of his dear cat, and reminisce on the happy moment they had lived together. What a beautiful story. 
Would you care for an orphan tiger cub if your pet took a liking to it? Do you think Dima should have never separated the two cats? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.